different uh, way of looking at things. We know each other probably all too too well, yeah. you know, and so. Uh, Brad uh, phoned in and said he, he liked it. Joe Perry is an American musician and songwriter who's best known as the founding member, lead guitarist, backing and occasional lead vocalist of the American rock band Aerosmith. Perry also has his own solo band called The Joe Perry Project and is a member of the all-star band Hollywood Vampires with Alice Cooper and Johnny Depp. He was ranked 84th in Rolling Stone's list of the 100 greatest guitarists of all time. In 2013, Perry and his songwriting partner, Steven Tyler, were recipients of the ASCAP Founders Award, and he was inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame the same year. And the, the drugs at the end, and, and you know, what, you know, that was a big part of the, of the band breaking up, uh, or me leaving the band mm -hmm. in, the, in 79. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Joseph Anthony Pereira, but is also known as the Toxic Twins. He was born September 10, 1950 in Lawrence, Massachusetts, making him age 70 at the time of this production. He stands at 5 feet 7 inches tall or 175 centimeters. As a child, Joe Perry had a great interest in the ocean and aquatic life, and he wanted to be a marine biologist. However, his bad grades in school did not allow him. He is a huge fan of the early Fleetwood Mac, particularly their first lead guitarist, Peter Green. He was inspired by the bands The Rolling Stones and The Beatles. Alongside, Joe Perry has a collection of 600 guitars, including special Gibson guitars. Perry is a lifelong Republican and embraced John McCain for the 2008 presidential election. Joe Perry is rumored to have dated the English actress Judy Carn in 1969, however the couple never confessed. Perry fell in love with Elisa Jarrett in 1972 and the couple dated for four years before they decided to tie the knot in 1975. The couple was married for seven years from 1975 to 1982, and together they had a son named Adrian in 1980. However, their marriage ended in divorce in 1982. Perry then met Billy Montgomery in 1983, and they started dating. They dated for two years and then got married on September 21, 1985. He has two sons with Billy. They're named Tony and Roman. Since 1985, Perry's been married to Billy Perry, and they have a very healthy and happy relationship. I think that uh, we've kind of got a kind of detente on the personal level as far as uh, dealing with each other, and I mean that in a very positive way. Joseph Anthony Pereira was born September 10, 1950, to Mary Perry and Anthony Perry in Lawrence, Massachusetts, USA. His father was an accountant of Portuguese descent from Madeira, and his mother a high school gym teacher of Italian descent. Perry wanted to be a marine biologist, but he was not good in studies. He got poor grades and was forced to move into a private institution. When the 60s pop music revolution touched America, he was very much influenced by the bands The Rolling Stones and The Beatles. When he saw a local group at a school dance, he was determined that he had to do it. It sounded so incredible to him and sounded almost like those bands from television. When he started playing his first guitar, he was just 10 years old. During the 1960s, Perry formed a band with Tom Hamilton called The Jam Band. Steven Tyler, Brad Whitford, and Joey Kramer eventually joined them, and the band became Aerosmith. Combining the blues grit of The Stones and the Yardbirds with the heavy riffing of Led Zeppelin, the band would issue their first album on Columbia in 1973 and by the late 70s would be one of the world's biggest rock bands on the strength of sold-out tours and such classic albums as 1975's Toys in the Attic and 1976's Rocks. But Aerosmith's first reign at the top didn't last long. Hard drugs eventually weakened the band's camaraderie and blurred their original music vision, leading to spats between Perry and Tyler. Frustrated with the band, Perry left during the recording of 1979's Night in the Ruts soon after forming his own band, The Joe Perry Project. With Aerosmith's career sagging as well, Perry patched up his differences with Tyler and reunited the classic Aero lineup by 1984. 
Drug abuse still ran rampant, resulting in their unfocused debut for Geffen, 1985's Done With Mirrors. But a surprise hit with rappers Run DMC, a remake of Aerosmith's Walk This Way, and the band members finally kicking drugs and drink for good led to an immediate resurgence in their popularity. By the late 80s, Aerosmith was on top of the rock world again, where Perry and company remained, issuing such hit albums as Permanent Vacation and Pump. In the 90s, with the group's revitalized popularity peaking, Aerosmith released Get a Grip, Nine Lives, and a live album, A Little South of Sanity. Joe Perry also released his first solo album in over 20 years, 2005's Joe Perry, and 2009's Have Guitar, Will Travel. Around that time, the musician launched a line of hot sauces called Joe Perry's Rock Your World Hot Sauces, one of which was featured at Hard Rock Cafes, which led to an appearance on celebrity chef Rachel Ray's TV show, Inside Ditch. Perry continued to tour with Aerosmith in the 2010s, but found time to finish and release his autobiography, Rocks, My Life In and Out of Aerosmith, in 2014. Back in the studio, he recorded a holiday EP, Joe Perry's Merry Christmas, which featured actor-musician Johnny Depp on rhythm guitar. Perry rejoined Aerosmith for a tour in 2015, but his major project that year was collaborating with Depp and Alice Cooper in the band Hollywood Vampires. They released an eponymous debut in September of that year. Aerosmith performed a handful of dates in 2016 and 2017, and Perry returned with a solo album called Switzerland Manifesto in January 2018. If it was something you did when you were, you know, going to retire and talk about your career and go off into the sunset and you've written your, your memoirs or whatever. Most of his money comes from his work as the lead guitarist of the great rock band Aerosmith. The band was formed in 1970. He launched his solo album in 1995 and the album released in 2009 with the title Joe Perry, which became a big hit. Besides his music career, he appeared in the NBC drama his album, Music from Another Dimension, with the band got certified as gold by Music Canada. He earned $35,960 from the album Tough Love, Best of Ballads. From another Aerosmith album, Music from Another Dimension, his estimated earnings were $40,000. Joe Perry's net worth is $150 million. Joe Perry has a huge mansion in Duxbury, Massachusetts, where he lives. The house has a massive swimming pool and a spacious garage. Joe, along with his wife, owns other houses in Vermont, Los Angeles, and Florida. His house in Florida is basically a three-bedroom condo, whereas in Vermont he owns a farm commonly known as Sleepy Hollow Farm. Joe and his wife purchased this 115-acre farm years ago, and in 2015 he listed the farm for sale at a price of $3.1 million before he changed his mind and decided to keep it. The cars and bikes you'll find in Joe Perry's garage are a Corvette C3, nineteen seventy one Oldsmobile four forty two convertible. Nineteen fifty six Rolls Royce, two thousand nine Ducati Monster six ninety six. 